Hi folks, welcome to another Craig's Hack for Tableau. Today I'm going to take you through how to do a guided navigation drill through on a dashboard using action filters. We're going to use our good old APAC Superstore data set and what we're going to do is we're going to allow people to drill through and do a more detailed level of sales. So we're reusing a viz that we've built in an earlier Craig's hack where we've actually managed to get our access labels at the top and that'll become important when we see how we're using these sets of views. So first of all, I uh, just want to point out the, the native ability of drill throughs in uh, Tableau itself and you can see by use of hierarchies we can actually get quite a good level of drill through down to country, down to state, down to city and we can even have you know, categories of, of products that are sold and even subcategories. It's quite a lot of level of detail. You can you know, look down there and try and find your, your buy exceptions. Uh, but that's a pretty clunky way to drill through. You're seeing all of your data all at once. There's a much better way to do it. So let me show you how I recommend. So we'll just undo all of those. What we're going to do is we're going to put this onto a dashboard. So let's start off with a, uh, an empty dashboard in a vertical container. See we've got a uh, vertical container there. And what we're going to do is we're going to pop a 2015 sales by country viz into that vertical container. You see that little dotted blue line? You need to make sure that you can see that. So we're going to put it inside the vertical container. So that's the sales by country. So that's where we want to drill down to. We want to start at a higher level than that. So let's start at a higher level of uh, by region. So let's duplicate that sheet. I'm going to go 2015 sales by region. And we're going to drag region on there instead of country, and we're going to sort ascending by sales. I'll just pop that into our vertical container above the sales by country. So let's start off simple by creating a uh, action filter that allows us to click on a region and see the region sales for for that region by country only. So we'll start off with doing a dashboard action. I'm going to add a new action. I call it uh, Show Countries, and we're going to start off by only allowing people to click on it from the region and go through to the country. And this is the important bit, we're going to say exclude all values after we've selected it and clear the selection. And of course, let's filter by region. Okay, so just show you how that one works. We click on Oceana, we see the countries in Oceana, and same with all those regions. And then when we click away, we go just back to a plain villa region. So let's do a bit of a clean up here. We've, we've, got, um, we've got a heading hanging over here when we're, we're not clicking. Uh, so let's turn off that title. But we do need to show people what is that we're looking at by country. Um, so let's go to our sheet. And let's do a little trick here that I like to have is a pseudo title just by adding it to the columns here. So if we just add a by country heading there, you'll see the word by country pops up. We can hide the labels for the columns, but we'll keep this one. We might even format it to make it a bit more heading-esque. Let's give it an orange and a 10 font. You can see that that now shows the by country there, and when we click away from it, the entire view disappears. So let's get that consistent by doing the same thing with our region. Give it some colour and a bit of boldness. And there we go. So we're getting something that we can work with. We probably don't need to repeat those headers there, so we could probably hide those, turning off the headers. 
And let's add one more tier of drill down. Let's go to, um, let's add a category and a subcategory. So we'll duplicate this one. I'll go to 2015 sales by cat and sub. And we'll add this one, just edit this one to say by category. And let's put the category and subcategory onto our view. Subcategory, we just press plus there, and probably need to sort this descending by sales. We'll do the same this one. Cool, all right, let's pop that onto our dashboard uh, down into our vertical container again. And what we might do is, is just uh, tell it to ignore action so that, that first action doesn't get um, distorted by this adding this sheet. But what we will do is go and add a new action. We're going to add an action here and we're going to call this one show uh, categories. And we're only going to allow people to click on that when they are starting at the country level and then we're going to drill down to the categories. Again, select uh, and we're going to exclude all values when they unselect and we're only going to filter by the country. Alright, just a quick check to make sure that our show countries uh, filter is intact. See how we, we don't have a tick on that new views that we added because we ignored filters or actions. Alright, so let's test it out. So Turn off that one and let's turn it on for say Central Asia. We get countries in Central Asia. We want to have a look at Pakistan. It looks like we need to know a bit more about what's going on there. And now we can see all of the particular categories of product where we're losing money in Pakistan. And when we're finished looking at that, we click away and we're going back to a nice simple biz. So there you have it using vertical containers in a dashboard, action filters to give yourself a bit of drill down. So stay tuned for another craze app where I'm actually going to enhance this solution here to give you a, a bit better experience with self-filtering actions. Hope you enjoyed that craze hack. Thanks for tuning in and happy visiting.